Let's fix this. Most things that are painted around are stuck to the wall, so you need to use your razor blade knife or a knife of some sort to cut around it. That way it doesn't tear. You're gonna take your level. See that little bubble in there? You want that little bubble to be right in the middle there. Here, go on each side of this hole. Make sure that it's level. It helps because it's gonna make it a nice square, square around this. Go just a little bit bigger than the hole. Same thing over here. Make sure your little bubble's right in the middle. And draw yourself a line. Go to above it. Level it. Draw a line. You're gonna do the same thing over here. You're gonna take a drywall saw or even a uh, utility knife and you're gonna score it over and over until you cut through it. You can take a multi-tool blade and multi-tool and cut it out. You can use this little hand saw, but I'm gonna cut right on the outside of this line. I'm gonna put wood behind here, so I need to measure how long I want that wood. I want it probably two inches on each side, just to make it have plenty I can, can screw to. So I'm gonna go for about seven inches. I'm gonna be using some of this half inch plywood. I'm gonna make it about two inches wide and seven inches long. And then I usually put the screw right in here. And you're gonna take your wood, and you're just gonna go boom. I put a screw in right there, and I put a screw right there. With this up in place, of course. Tighten it up to where the screw is just slightly snug underneath the surface of the screw or of the drywall. Take this screw back out. You gotta check to make sure which thickness your drywall is. This is half inch, that's half inch. You're gonna take your cutout, take whichever side looks better. This side looks better, so I'm gonna put it face down. Trace it. Now cut that out with your saw. Take a piece of drywall, you're gonna set it inside the hole, put a screw and a screw. Remember, don't push too hard, there's only two screws holding this in. You wanna try to keep the screws away from the edges because they can split. Next, we're gonna take some easy sand twines. It takes 20 minutes to dry. Pour a little bit into your pan. Add a little bit of water and mix it up. I'm gonna need some more water. You see it's a little dry over here. I need it all to be over here, wettish. Mix it up to maybe where it's kind of soft consistency. Now you see these little cracks around here, right? I'm gonna take this mud, I'm gonna try to fill all those cracks, then leave a little bit extra here because I need to put some tape on top. Pushing mud into the crack will help keep it strong. Measure how long you need your tape. You can see the line right here and how far. You can go a little bit past each side. Cut your tape. Now this folds, if you fold it right here, you want the inside of this seam or that, that point to go inside that line or on that line, always towards the wall. And then with slight pressure, you're gonna use a drywall knife to squeeze out the majority of that mud. Not all of it, you want some behind there. And then continue to work your way all the way around with each piece of tape, repeating the same process. Don't overlap your tape seams, otherwise it's gonna go a little bit more of a bump. Then we're gonna take another coat Go. 
take the screw. I'm gonna try to get some of this mud out of this hole just where I kind of know where it is and help me keep track of it. Then you're gonna take all, take around the edges, get into this loose crummy stuff and this leftover stuff and just gonna scrape it off. Is that like a nice big scraper? Coat number three, I forgot to hit record. And then after that's dry, you're gonna use a sanding block like I'm using right here and some kind of flashlight. Uh, it lets you see the shadows of the ridges and stuff, any bumps or anything, and then it lets you uh, see the feathered edges a little better. And then you're gonna take your light and make sure you got everything. And then it's time to paint. So I'm gonna use this paintbrush and I'm gonna cut in around this teepee holder or what the bracket of it, what's left. And then we're gonna break out the paint roller and the paint some more and paint the rest of this wall to blend in this patch. Pushing really lightly on the outside edges, that way it's feathered and blends in a little bit better. 